So our uh, next example to do quantitative chemistry is aluminium oxide. So first of all, what is the formula of uh, aluminium oxide? Is it AUO? Uh -huh. Aluminium Al, Al2, oh. O3. Oh, it, so, is AU gold or something? Exactly, AU is gold. So first of all, can you tell me how many elements are involved in aluminium oxide? Two. Yes. And how many atoms are there? How many atoms are there in this so there be two? compound? Can you see? How many atoms of aluminium? Oh, are there? okay. Oh, um, so two aluminium and three oxides. I mean oxygen. Yes, exactly. And uh, atomic mass of aluminium is 27. Aluminium is 27. And oxygen is 16. Now, the very first thing that we want to calculate, the relative mass of aluminium. Sorry, uh, we want to calculate the relative mass of aluminium is given. We want to calculate, in fact, the, uh, just one second. Uh, relative formula mass. What we want to calculate? Relative, relative formula, mass. formula mass. So relative formula mass, MR. So what we need to do to calculate relative formula mass? We need to calculate all masses, those are in this compound, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so, so does we, that, yeah. Uh, atomic mass of aluminium, isn't it? 27. Yes. And how many atoms are there? Two. It means there is 27. two times 27. Mm -hmm. Plus that is three atoms of oxygen. Would it be 54? Three times 16. No, no, the other one. 27 times 2. 27 times 2 is 54. And 3 times 16 is 48. Isn't oh. it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and total, total relative mass of iron is 102. Isn't it? Yes. 100 and 2 u okay so the relative mass of aluminium oxide formula mass so relative formula mass is 102 okay now what we want to calculate we want to calculate percentage mass percentage mass of aluminium of aluminium in aluminium oxide in aluminium oxide okay so in that case we will say the mass of aluminium but the relative mass of aluminium is 27 times the number of atoms those are two divided by the total relative mass of this compound, which is 102, and then multiply it by 100 to calculate in percentage. Okay, understand? Yep. So, what will be the answer? So, 27 times 2 is 54 divided by 102, and answer is about 50. 3%. What is the answer? So, answer is 53%. Okay. Now, here, this answer 53% tells us that if we do have a sample of aluminium oxide, we can obtain aluminium by removing oxygen using for example electrolysis and we can obtain 53 percent okay
Now, if, for example, I ask the question a little differently, that we do have, we do have 500 kilogram, 500 kilogram of aluminium oxide, of aluminium oxide. How much? How much is aluminium? How much is aluminium? Mm -hmm. So we know that in yeah. aluminium oxide, aluminium is how much? 53%. How much it is? 53%. So then 53% of total mass is aluminium, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> That means this will be the 53% of 500. What will be the answer? So this you can write 53 divided by 100 times 500. So answer is 5 times 53. 5 times, Five times 15 53. and 25 and 1, 256 kilogram aluminium. Okay. Understand? Yes. Any question? Mm, no. No. Okay. Very good. So, do you understand what is the meaning of a relative formula mass of yeah. a compound? And then yes, so how we can calculate the uh, percentage mass of an element in a compound. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. Any question? No. Oh, uh, wait. I think I do. So for the compound, you see how many numbers there are at the bottom? Like, let's say it's um, two, two yes. um, aluminium and then... I don't know for hydrogen. So mm -hmm. how many hyd times uh, there is hydrogen? Um, no, I'm just like saying, like in a compound, mm -hmm. if the the numbers below it, you mm -hmm. times it by the atomic number. Yes. And then atomic you mass. add the atomic mass. Not atomic, atomic mass. mass. Yes. Atomic mass. We want to and calculate then, mass. Mm -hmm. And then you add it up, and then you want to know what each percentage is like that yes so then let's actually we summarize our lesson so when we you want to calculate the relative mass of a compound we will add up the masses of all elements so first is aluminium there are two atoms of aluminium it means two times 27 two times the relative atomic mass of aluminium plus oxygen. And there are three atoms of oxygen. So that's why we will calculate count it three times, three times 16. So the total is 102. This 102 atomic mass is the relative formula mass of this compound of aluminium oxide. And then if, for example, you want to calculate the percentage of one single element of this compound, let's say in this example, is aluminium. So then we will actually, you can say the mass, the total mass of that element in this compound divided by relative mass, divided by relative formula mass of that compound times 100 to make it percentage. So that comes out as a 53%. Now from this 53%, we understand that aluminium is 53% in this compound. Okay, to understand this concept, we actually took this example that for example, we do have 500 kilogram of aluminium oxide and we want to calculate that how much is aluminium only then we know that aluminium is 53% in aluminium oxide. So 53% of 500 
which is 265 kilogram so 265 kilogram is the aluminium only in 500 kilogram aluminium oxide okay understand hello 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 